What's up guys, it is Andrew here and welcome back finally to another forest update. This is version 0.07 and there is quite a bunch of new things. Quite a bunch, yes, good wording, Andrew. There is a, a few new things in this update, a few big ones and then a lot of little fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and read them out for you as usual. If you want to just skip right to the gameplay, there's an annotation on the screen. But if you want to hear about what's in the update, then stick around and I'm going to read it out to you. Okay, so... Starting off with the change log, there is a rock holder now, which is very useful. Um, I think that's very useful, especially when you're building things like effigies or, you know, even fire pits and things that require lots of rocks. If you just gather them all in the beginning, you can only hold, I think, eight at a time. So if you just put them in a rock holder, go out and get more, uh, then that could really, really cut down build times in the future. So that's good. Uh, movable log holder, awesome. If you decide to move your camp or if you put it down and you decide it's just not in the right spot, you can then move the blueprint. You can also just, um, oh yeah, I get it. So it's once it's built, you can move it, which is cool. Uh, mid-size cabin blueprint, awesome. Less logs, mid-size cabin. I mean, the cabins aren't super useful anyways, like the full-size ones. I mean, the, the AI doesn't get in anyways. There's no furniture yet other than benches, so there's no there's really no reason why you would need a big one. So a mid-size cabin, that's a good one. Here is the talk of the town for this update, the treehouse blueprint. Now, that's been something that uh, the community, you know, like myself, other YouTubers, you guys in the comment section, have been saying that it'd be really cool if you could build up in trees, and I know some creative people have been able to do it. Now you can just officially do it. Uh, with the treehouse blueprint, that's really cool. Working door, Adam. At Adam. Working door added. Male version of the skinny mutant. And two new animals were added. A tortoise and raccoons. I like that. Especially since I hate raccoons. So I'm going to stab them as often as possible. Animal numbers go down over time if you kill a lot of them. And they will eventually repopulate. Cool. So if you kill too many animals, eventually food will be scarce until they start doing a little dance. Making it love, get down in that. Uh, yeah, they'll do that, and then there'll be more animals. Different types of animals now stay around specific parts of the world. Like, for example, you probably won't see a tortoise in a cave. Actually, you might. There's water down there. That was a bad example. You might. You will not see a tortoise in the mountains, up in the glaciers. You will not. <laughs> Weapon balancing. All weapons will be slower when holding an item in your other hand, like a lighter and a walkman. That's really good. Um, but it's faster when it's held in both hands, and there's a new uh, animation. More accurate weapon collider. Cool. Uh, you can now catch rabbits and place them in a rabbit cage. Another good update, because that rabbit cage has been here since day one, and you haven't been able to use it, and now you can, which is awesome. I hope, hope, uh, I, I hope they repopulate in that in there. I don't know why I can't talk today. Maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should take a minute and go drink like a Red Bull or something. Uh, better previous weapon better than the previous weapon switching system, improved blueprint place, uh, placement, new rock attack animation is more powerful and it uses more stamina. Uh, caves now only contain blue skinned enemies and the distorted mut mutants. Better combat theme, better like theme. Uh, they fixed the peaceful mode. Further uh, improved enemy pacing over time. Uh, fix the bug that could cause enemies to vanish over time. Yes, we did see that issue a couple times where we're just running around. We're like, there's literally no one here. Energy now replenishes faster when you're sitting on a bench. Good, that's the purpose of it. More small props added. That's good. Just dress up the island a little bit. Bring it to life. Uh, sw switching weapons whilst holding a Molotov no longer causes it to drop. Awesome. Sound effects added for a stick and logs and rocks. A whoosh sound added when you move items in your inventory fixed molotov pieces bouncing around causing uh, fire to move in strange ways um, fire now scales with the amount of fuel plants now burn for longer trees will be trees will tumble over if burned and now adding new burning materials with embers uh, trees will now burn away correctly when on fire energy bar now flashes when playing music uh, to make it clear that your stamina is getting a boost, good. I mean, we all knew it was getting a boost, but I guess this is for new people. Crafting info pages unlocked in the survival book. Oh, missing a lot of items. It says it's missing a lot of items, but it's good that it's unlocked. Fixed bug where you could get flare infinite flares by dropping a flare gun and then picking it up again. Boo! <laughs> uh, fixed bug where the day count could change even when it, uh, or when enter entering and exiting caves. 
Fixed yellow axe mesh not visible when equipped. Terrain, te terrain texture and shape improvements. Fires can now cook an unlimited amount of items. Thank God. Before you couldn't you couldn't cook like back to back items. If you cooked a fish, you couldn't cook a fish again. Really weird. Fixed a bug where you could sometimes get infinite sticks, rocks, and inventory. Arrows should now work more effectively against enemies. Yes! And visible lizard skin armor. Oh my god, the arrows actually do damage, I hope that means. Thank the lord. Oh, the lord is good to me. What's up guys, we are now inside the game. Oh my god, was that an aloe plant? Oh man, I haven't found one of those like, ever. Okay, so what are we are going to do now is we are going to build the godforsaken... Lovely, oh look, there's the cabin. Lovely treehouse. I'm just gonna put it anywhere because quite frankly I just want to see it built and I don't really know what strategy I'm gonna go with yet for this uh, Season which also brings up the topic. Do you want a new season? And I know you guys are gonna say yes, Andrew I do want a new season, but there's a disclaimer. There's a little asterisk below it that you need to read. Oh my god Oh my god, it's lizardville Ugh. Yes, so many lizards so little time bunny 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 Bunny, bunny, bunny! I want to catch it because you can freaking, you can, you can freaking make. Oh my god, is that more aloe? Oh my god, I'm getting so sidetracked here. There's like all this beautiful stuff. There's like aloe and bunnies and and, and bunny aloe, <laughs> bunny flavored aloe for for you bunnyphiliacs. Is that a bird? Yep, yeah, it's a bird. We'll take its feathers. We might need those in the future. So what we want to do here is build the treehouse. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, there's a little disclaimer and that. Oh my god, it's a raccoon! Hello, raccoon! Oh, you got wrecked, raccoon. I know they're called raccoons. I'm just calling it raccoon. Because, I don't know. Because I do stuff like that. On a daily basis. So anyways, as I was saying. Um, if you guys do want a new season. Uh, there is a disclaimer. And that disclaimer is. That the videos or the episodes are going to have to be shorter. If you guys want a season out of this. Because, you know, I was debating it. I looked over the patch notes and, and the update, and there's enough to make a season on maybe 10 to 15 minute long videos, but there definitely isn't enough to make a season on 30 minute videos anymore. So if you guys want, I could do like a uh, daily or every other day, like 10 minute videos, just hopping in, killing some stuff, building some stuff, uh, stuff like that, or I can wait. Or I can do like every three days, one, one 30 minute episode or something. I don't know. You guys let me know. I want to start playing this game again because I really do enjoy it. There just isn't enough for like the way that it used to be, which was obviously you know 30 minute episodes every single day. Ooh, that leg spike though. Now you may be thinking, Andrew, why would you be putting the treehouse down beside the plane? That's just danger zone. You're just asking to be hunted. Literally, yes, I literally am just asking to be hunted. Quite frankly, we're so familiar with this game that the cannibals, in my opinion, aren't challenging enough. So yeah, I'm quite literally asking to be hunted. And I think with the treehouse here now, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, if they come, I could just run up into the tree and uh, use the bow and arrow. Also, I think that 35 logs for the treehouse is pretty fair. In the past, I've kind of disagreed with how many logs it takes to build stuff. I think 35 for a treehouse... Pretty fair. Those cabins, like when they were like 85, or even like the log house, um, the boathouse one. Oh my god! Holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? <laughs> they just beat the shit out of me. Okay, so wait, hold on. Ooh. You got wrecked, bro. Sorry to hear that. What is that? It's a koi fish. Okay, so I guess right-clicking doesn't save you anymore? I mean, I know that was kind of like that before, but that time it was almost like I wasn't even blocking. Like, they just straight wrecked me that time. Oh my god, there's so much pop and stuff down here. I like it. I like it a lot. Man, that scared the shit out of me when they jumped at me like that. You know how we name all the cannibals in this series? There's like... Five new cannibals now, and we don't have names for any of them yet. So, guys, you know what that means. Let's get some names popping. I need some names. Oh my god. What am I doing right now? 
I'm venturing down into the abyss. Venturing down into nothing land. This might not even be safe, like even in the slightest. Might as well use those meds, because apparently blocking doesn't heal you anymore, and there's probably going to be a few down here. Poor, poor little, poor little passengers. Okay, so there's our, let's just follow the hammer. Oh, it's taking us back up in this direction. Honestly, though, with every single update, it, it it honestly makes me more and more excited for the future of this game. Okay, I could have just turned around and went this way. Poop. But, like, every single update, in my opinion, and, you know, I, yes, I want multiplayer, don't get me wrong. Yes, I want Oculus Rift support because... What the hell? Was there a party down here and they just got way too crunk or what? Yeah, I said crunk, come at me. <laughs> no, but... You know, I have an Oculus Rift, I spent a lot of money on it, and I want to be able to use it. So yeah, I want Oculus Rift support. Yeah, I want to be able to play with my friends. Yeah, I want all that stuff. But, I've opted into a lot of early access games, guys. I've opted into, you know, this, Rust, and Forsaken Uprising, and The Fifth Day, and the list goes on. I, You know, I've, I've opted into a lot, a lot of early access games. And I can honestly say... That this is, this game delivers the best content in the least amount of time out of all of them. So, you know, as easy as it is to complain and go, oh, where's multiplayer? Oh, where's, uh, where's my Oculus Rift support? At the same time, damn it, these caves are like impossible to get out of. At the same time, you gotta really kind of applaud their, their ethic, because they're a small team of, they started with four, and I believe they're five now, because they hired someone from Mojang, the graphics programmer from Mojang. So I believe it's five people now, it could be even more, but who knows. But a very small indie team, it's not a giant studio or anything, and the game is beautiful looking, it's very visually appealing, it has a lot of great gameplay mechanics, um, it's still very new, it came out in May. Oh shit. Oh shit! Go shit! Get they're gonna kill you, they're gonna kill you, they're gonna kill you, they're gonna kill you, Andrew. Uh, Andrew! Andrew! You're gonna die already! You're gonna die already! You gotta get out of here! You gotta get out of here! Oh, as soon as I heard that music, I was like, yeah. It's go time. Oh, and it's dark out here, isn't it? No, I'm not even out yet. Oh, great. Are they still chasing me? Shiza! Shiza on a Kaiser. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Don't stop running. Don't stop running. Or the cannibals will eat your face now. Don't stop. Come on, get out. Get out of this cave. Yes. Whew. Well, that only took about 1,015 years. <laughs> okay, let's start running back now. I, I didn't even get any medicine. I got some food though. And I got. Oh, yeah, I have aloe vera. Now we just gotta find some of the. Uh... Wink. Wonk. Now we just gotta find some of the uh, marigold, is what it's called, I believe. Yeah, marigold. And then we'll mix it up, craft it up. Give it a little TLC tender loving crafting. <laughs> and then hopefully we'll have some medicine. But I don't know. It's like every time I need aloe, I don't have it. And I have like a. 15,000 things of marigold, and then whenever I need that, I don't, and I have aloe. Hashtag first world problems. Actually, technically that isn't a first world problem, because I don't know if this island, this island definitely isn't first world, so... This is third world problems. Or even fourth world, does that make sense? Is that a real thing? Fourth world problems? Because at least third world countries have, like, stuff. This is just an island with cannibals who eat you. I, this is fourth world. I don't know if that exists, but I'm making it. Hashtag fourth world problems. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Uh. Uh. Oh, skill. Okay. We're almost done. Well, not almost. We're about halfway there. Ooh, aloe. Oh, we're halfway there. All right. 
Actually, we're not even halfway there yet. Now we're almost halfway there. Ooh, more aloe. Oh my god, it's like... Come here, come here, rabbit. If you catch the rabbits now, you can put them in the freaking rabbit cages, which is one of the bigger updates as well. Something that... Well, like, the rabbit cages have always been here since, like, literally day one, but they've never worked. And now they do, which is great. Which just goes back to the thing of, you know, sometimes you just gotta be patient. It's, it's easy... It's easy to be an armchair game developer, which is, you know, obviously someone who just sits around and criticizes game developers like, Why isn't this game better? I'm guilty of it myself, so I'm not making fun of anyone specifically. I do it myself. I'm like, what the heck? Why? I paid $20 for this. Now I'm so entitled to my opinion on how things should work. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta be humble. I ate a big slice of humble pie after the... Uh, what update was it? The update, update. I think it was like update two or three when they added the uh, cassette player, and I really didn't like it. In that whole video, I just bitched about how much how much I didn't like it, and you guys just disliked the hell out of the video, and I lost a lot of subscribers, and a lot of you very loyal people stuck around, but you were like, "Listen, Andrew, you need to you need to realize that you know this update was only it only took two weeks to come out. It is a pretty good update. It solves the whole stamina issue." You know, I sat back and I was like, you know what? They're very right. Two weeks in my time is a lot of time because I'm a YouTuber and the more content, the better. But two weeks in game developer time is really nothing. That's that's almost, that's not a lot of time to work with, especially with a really small team. So, you know, I, I, I've learned to chill. I've learned to chill a little bit. Now I know that the cannibals are like super birdery. I'm going to need to be way more careful. I'm actually going to need to finish this treehouse like pretty quick. And then build a bow. And then we'll just snipe from our window. We'll just be like, fling, flong. Right from the window over here. Yeah, that'll work. Where the hell did our thing go? There it is. <laughs> I almost lost our house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't cut that tree down, stupid. I almost wanted I want I almost want to build it and then cut the tree down and see what happens. Oh, another really good update as I mentioned in the, you know, intro is the whole rock holder thing. I think that's an awesome update. If you just put down like six rock holders and fill them all up at the beginning, when you go to build something, it's going to really prevent you needing to go out and run around and oh, raccoon. You're lucky I don't have a bow or else you'd get a freaking bow right in your raccoon ass. Raccoon Matata. What a wonderful phrase. It means you're my dinner for the next two days. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. It's like this freaking raccoon is, is vicious. It's like Iron Man. Okay, only six more logs. That's like two trees. Oh, there we go. Now it's only one tree if we can pick a big tree and it drops five logs. Let's pick uh, this one. Damn it, it only dropped four, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Boo! Boo! I know there's, I know one rolled down here somewhere. For I know for a fact one rolled down here somewhere. This is how lazy I am. I this is how lazy I am, and I don't want to cut down any trees. I'm running around to see if I lost a log. No. Damn it. Now I gotta cut a tree down. Let's make it a skinny one so it goes quicker. I just need one log, skinny guy. Let's cooperate. Oh, you're killing me here. You're kill- Thank you. Hopefully this one isn't too skinny. If it ends up being one of those things that turns into sticks, I'll be really angry. No, but I have a really cool plan for this, um, this tree house. What I want to do is I want to put the treehouse up and then under the treehouse, just put a bunch of like maybe two or three log holders, a bunch of rock holders, a rabbit cage, all of our stuff, maybe some gardens under it. And then we'll use that as obviously a shelter. Oh God, it's getting dark. Come on, hurry up. Means no worries. Fun around your knees. Hey. Looking pretty sweet. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's go up. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Don't you fall down. Okay, that is that is super cool. Can I fall down here? I'd be really angry if I could. No, you can't. This is awesome. And you can sleep in here too. And save. Boom. Game saved. Eat it. I don't need to sleep because it's still daytime. 
And then how do you get down? Just slowly. Bing, 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 bing. <gasps> I don't know why I'm so amused by that, but I think that's freaking awesome. All right, guys. Well, now that we have our beautiful log cabin built, and it's actually pretty freaking beautiful, what I might do is chop down all these trees so that we actually can see our surrounding areas and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to get, like, in the next episode, I'm going to build a bow um, and figure out hopefully how to use fire arrows and stuff. And then we're going to actually mess their shizzle up. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really, really helps out the channel, guys. I can't stress that enough. It takes two seconds. Just please just, just click the like button. Just, just boop. Just like that. Just boop. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you're new here, please subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It, that is if you guys want to see the shorter videos every day, like I mentioned. Uh, if not, I'll see you in a couple days. But regardless, I'll see you in the next episode of The Forest. Let me know if you want to see a daily series, like I said, with shorter videos, but daily. Let me know. Thank you guys so much. I love your faces. Bye-bye.